The scribes and Pharisees dragged the woman who had been caught in the act of adultery before Jesus and set her in their midst and asked him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now what do you say? Why did they bring the woman before him and test him? They themselves had also committed adultery many times. But they were trying to judge and kill her through Jesus while trying to put the blame on him. Jesus knew what was on their minds and knew all about the woman. So he said, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. Then the scribes and Pharisees started from the oldest to the youngest, left one by one, and only Jesus and the woman were left. The ones who left were the scribes and Pharisees, the religious leaders. They were about to judge the woman who had been caught in the very act of adultery as if they themselves were not sinners. Jesus loves us. He is the Almighty One who can do anything. But the Pharisees and scribes thought Him to be their enemy. That is why they brought the woman before Him and tested Him. They asked, Teacher, Moses in the law commanded, As that such be stoned, but what do you say? They thought that he would tell them to stone her. Why? If we were to judge according to what is written in the law of God, everyone who has committed adultery would be stoned to death without exception. All had to be stoned to death, and all are destined to go to hell. The wages of sin is death. However, Jesus didn't tell them to stone her. Instead, he said, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. But the scribes and Pharisees knew of the law only as it was written. If his law was applied correctly, it would kill them just as surely as the one judged by them. In fact, the law of God was given to men so that they could realize their sin, but They have suffered because they have misunderstood and misapplied it.